let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry my intro was so weird. Um, so we were looking through my back room of stuff as we're in the middle of moving and we found these old stretcher bars that I had from when I used to be a real life artist. Um, and I thought, well, that could be kind of like a fun little project and decor. So I've got my 24 by 24 inch stretcher bar frame pieces. I'm thinking about getting some more that are smaller and maybe doing like eight by eight little things. But I'm sure we all have fabric that we love, but don't have a project in mind for and like we love it too much to use it and mess up. So I figured why not just stretch it? Or you could also use embroidery hoops and that's a little less committal because you could take a panel or something and like stretch it around the hoop. But then if you ever had something in mind you wanted to use it for, you could just stretch it off, unstretch it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start by stapling or not. Are we out of staples? Whoops. Hold please. Okay, so I have a heavy duty staple gun. I'm gonna start by stapling in the corners. And you just want to secure that seam so it doesn't shift on you. Do one or two in each corner. Okay. And then I think what I want to do is add a little bit of quilt batting. Uh, you could even do maybe foam or something. Um, but you could use this kind of method to make like a bulletin board if you wanted to. Stuff like that. So let me grab my quilting batting. Sorry, Dorothy. And you want to leave maybe like two inches around each side, maybe an inch and a half to stretch over. And then if you wanted to, you could even like quilt the fabric together first. That could be interesting. So if you wanted to take this to your machine, you may want to cut it a little bit bigger in that instance, but you could then like kind of free motion quilt if you wanted or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to staple it all together. If you're using a thinner fabric, you could interface it. That could be really cool um, and make it more like a bulletin board. And you could put push pins in it. And then I'm going to run this over to my ironing board to iron. There's a couple wrinkles and I know I could stretch them out, but I also don't want to put in that much effort. So as I was ironing this, I was even thinking like if you have a silhouette or a scanning cut or something like that, you could even cut out heat transfer vinyl to iron on and you could put some kind of fun quote or saying on it. So many possibilities. All right, I've got it nicely ironed. I'm kind of laying this in the center. And then I'm going to stretch this over. 
and just put in a few staples. And if they don't go in all the way, it's not a huge deal. You can always hammer it. And I'm gonna come around the other side and I'm gonna make sure to give it a little bit of a stretch. Depending on what you're using, you may not want to stretch too much. Like if you're using a cotton Lycra, uh, you definitely don't wanna stretch that too much. Come around the other side. And we'll save the corners for last. But you want it to be nice and tight as you're going. And so I'm kind of pulling and then stabilizing that pull by holding on to the stretcher bar. And keep going. And you could even buy like really cheap canvases from a craft store that are already you know, pre-stretched and just cover what's there with it, you know? But yeah, this feels really nice. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then we'll just add a few more staples close to the corners. Still making sure we're pulling and stretching as we go. And then all that's left to do is those corners. So I will zoom in to show you guys how I do the corners. Definitely take some finesse with the corners, but you wanna like pinch this together and then pull it down. So it kind of creates this gift effect on the corner. So you like pinch it together and fold it flat that together and fold it flat and there's different ways of doing the corners but this is my favorite and then we'll just add one two probably three staples there okay. I'll just repeat that And then any excess on the back, you can just cut away. Um, if you're not a huge fan of the way it looks open like that on the back, you can add um, another scrap piece of cotton over it to finish that off. Totally up to you. There is our stretched fabric. And you could still like heat transfer vinyl on this or even paint or stencil something on. And that could be really cool. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.